Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to update the firmware on a Phantom by DJI, which in this video, I'm going to be using my DJI Phantom 3 standard, which I've been using in like the past like six videos that I've made. So yeah, but this should apply to any other DJI drone out there, so let's get right into the video. Okay, so first things first, obviously to even see if you need to update, make sure to turn on your controller and your drone. Next up, you're obviously going to want to go and connect to your drone's Wi-Fi. Make sure it connects. And then as soon as it connects, go to your DJI Go app. And if you have an update, obviously it will bring you to your typical camera screen here. But to check if you have an update, you're going to want to go back to the main screen by clicking up there. And if you have an update, it will show up at the top like this. New firmware update is available. So for me, I have an update for 1.8.10, and that's for my standard. So if you have any other drone, it will show up here for yours. But for me, I have the standard, so in order to update, a couple of things need to be done first. The first thing that is probably the most important about updating is to make sure that you have a full battery on your controller and your drone itself, plus your phone, because this can take up to 30 minutes to fully update. So you need to be able to give it some time and battery life for that. So the drone will probably get down to about 50% after updating, but we'll see once we're done. But one more thing that you need to do before updating is for safety, and that is to remove the propellers from the drone because during updating, just in case the motors would go on for some reason, you always want to remove these first before updating in order to prevent an accidental takeoff while updating. So now just set these aside. So now that you've removed your propellers and everything's sitting aside, now just go to your app and click on update now. And then here it will just say what's new in the update and it says do not turn off the remote controller or exit the DJI Go app during the update process. This is important, make sure that your phone does not shut off during update. It should, the app itself should cause your phone to stay on during the entire process, but I would just make sure that you keep tapping the screen just to make sure it stays on. Now you're just going to click on download. It'll bring this prompt up and it will say that it's going to download over cellular if you don't connect to Wi-Fi. So I don't want to download over cellular, so I'm going to connect to my home Wi-Fi now. You go back and you connect to your home Wi-Fi. And as soon as that's done, you can go back into the app and it will begin downloading. Now this process of downloading is determined by your internet speed, but I'll get back to you as soon as this is done downloading. So once your mobile device has finished downloading the actual installer package, it'll bring up this screen and it will say firmware downloaded. Turn on your device and connect your mobile device to the following network, which is your drone's Wi-Fi network. So now you're safe to exit out of the app and go back to settings. Connect back to your standard or whatever drone you're using. And once you're connected, get back to the app and this is when you need to make sure you keep the app open. You had to for the download also, but now it will actually install the firmware to the drone. So you're gonna click on start update and it will begin updating. This again will take a little while. It can take up to 30 minutes, but it is not reliant on your internet connection now. It's just reliant on how fast it can actually install the update to your drone. So now I'm just gonna set my phone aside and make sure your screen is left on and do not turn it off. Leave your phone on. Also, one more thing to mention, during this process, your drone will start to make beeping noises such as this, and it can turn off and turn back on at points, but just do not touch it. Just leave it how it is, and it will get through its updating process. So, as you can hear right now, mine is just beeping and it hasn't shut off yet, but it will probably pretty soon. So surprisingly, my drone actually did not shut off by itself this time. It has done it before, so if yours does that, don't be afraid, it's, it'll be fine. But now that the update is actually completed, it says upgraded, restart device now. And you can click complete. And now you're gonna wanna power off your drone and then your controller, and then reverse that process again. Then power off the remote. Wait a couple of seconds, 
then power your remote controller back on again, and then your drone. And there you go. Now that the upgrade has completed, you're safe to put your propellers back on to your drone. Now on your mobile device, just make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi of the drone. Now you've got access to the drone once again. And if it's completed properly, you won't see that annoying update message up here anymore. So now let's just make sure that it works. You can take off. There I am, right? <laughs> now it's just landed again. There we go. Drone's working with upgraded firmware. And that was pretty easy. So anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video was able to help you out. If it did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe and see more videos like this, click that button down below, even if you're on mobile. If you'd like to see some more of my videos, you can click that button up there. Or if you'd like to see another drone video of mine, you can click down there. So anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. See you in the next video. Peace.